What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Technical Tuesday. In today's episode, I'm going to give you guys an update on Pamela and I'm going to show you guys how to do timing on a 1.9 TDI PD engine. So yeah guys, um, the channel has been doing excellent. In the two weeks that it's been active, I've been getting so much support. I've been getting so much feedback from you guys. And I just want to say thank you to each and every one. So yeah guys, uh, basically I'm on 81 subscribers. The goal for this month is to reach 100. I'm 19 away. So if you guys can support me, if you guys can share this video, it would be much appreciated. Let's try and achieve that 100 subscribers. Let's try and achieve that goal. I know it's achievable, so let's go for it. To give you guys an update on Pamela, I haven't worked on the car much. The engine's been standing in the garage. I haven't touched it. And yeah, the main thing is I'm still waiting for some parts. And I've been busy at work, so it's, it's trying to compensate between work and doing videos and getting updates to do to you guys. But I'm getting to it. And nonetheless yeah basically I redid the wiring on the car this weekend some of the wiring uh, there was a uh, my glow glow plug loom there were two bullet connectors off on there or bullet connectors they I replaced them with some that I got from builders warehouse came out quite great and I think all the the glow plugs will be back onto connectors again and there was some wiring coming from the back because I've got a battery location I, I got a new distribution block and I, I neatened up the wiring on there and some other small things. So in that department, that is sorted out for now. But yeah, uh, basically what's needed, I need a tandem pump gasket, I need to source a billet wheel. I can't explain to you guys how difficult it is to try and source a billet wheel at this moment in time. I, I can't find one. And if I do find one, they are crazy expensive. I'm not gonna pay the crazy prices that, are, that people want for these billet wheels. So yeah. I need a water pipe at the heat exchanger, one of my water pipes cracked, so I need to source that pipe. I need an aircon pulley, my aircon pulley got hurt when we uh, took the engine out and it hit the chassis leg, so I need to replace that. I need to find some heat wrap, because I want to heat wrap the, the turbo manifold and the down pipe. And then lastly I need to, to do the cam belt to do the injector lashing because I want to get everything together before I do that final injector lashing. So yeah guys, that's about it. Close to finishing, 75% there, maybe 80%, but it will be done soon. So guys, I hope you do enjoy the video on the timing. It is a bit of a technical video. Every Tuesday is gonna be a technical Tuesday now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the basic uh, method on how to do timing. And one last thing I wanted to show you guys, I actually got something pretty cool this week. Just before lockdown, 8 Valve Performance ran a special on cash tanks. And from the pictures I received, I thought, oh, it's a basic cash tank, but I need one. I got in contact uh, with Gerard at 8 Valve Performance. I placed my order for my cash tank and I actually forgot about it. About two weeks ago, he sent me a message, listen, dude, are you going to come pick up your cash tank? And I was like, yeah, dude, I, I totally forgot about it. Let me go and get it. And I went to go fetch it. And I'm gonna show you guys what the cash tank is about. Once again, got it from 8 Valve Performance. If you guys want to hit them up, I'll do like a small, uh, small like B-roll footage of, of their store. I'm gonna show you guys the cash tank and afterwards I'm gonna show you guys how to do the timing. Thanks for, for watching another video. And yeah, let's get to it guys. All right guys, so, this is the cash tank that I got from 8 Valve Performance. You guys can see I was actually super impressed with the fabrication and the overall size. Like, I don't know what I have here to compare the overall size, but you guys can see it's my full hand here at the top. And it's basically just got an inlet and there's a filter in here now. Let me try and get it out. Let me see. You guys can see here, there's actually a filtering process there at the top where it goes through. So it's just basically a breathe to air cash tank. And it's got like a fitting here to, to basically attach it to something. But thoroughly impressed with this cash tank. And I think it's going to be a nice addition. I was actually just planning on running a pipe to breathe to air. I've actually got a spray bottle here. Let me see. Yeah, this is a normal Axe spray can. You guys can see the actual comparison in size. I was really surprised when he when he actually gave it to me. But yeah guys, go have a look at Avalve Performance. They can uh, 
it actually assists you with all your VW needs and builds and whether it's doing like cu custom fabrication or whether it's doing like an actual engine build or something they can assist you with all of that cool let's get to the timing guys so to do timing on these cars you will need a 13 spanner and an 18 to loosen these bolts is a 13 and to adjust you'll need an 18 and you'll need a program that can read the timing so i use vcds i've always used vcds it's quite a, quite an easy program to operate and yes you just go to engine banks and then bank number four you'll be able to see the timing and see what the car does so to adjust the timing on a 1.9 to the eye it's quite a simple procedure so basically just loosen these 13s right here the three of them and after the three of them are loosened right there you take an 18 and put it on the big uh, bolt there and you just I usually take a tap maneuver so I know this car needs advancement it doesn't yeah okay let's see Usually you think you've adjusted it, and I do hope I've adjusted it, but the only way to see is to start the car again and check on the DCBS. So you tighten the three bolts again, cool, tighten it, let me just check this one. Nice. So next up, give the car a swing and see what it does. adjusting the timing to zero I'm gonna load a new map I'm basically just going to load a 1.8 bar file with a bit of lower timing just to just as a running map and then after that we'll look at turning up the boost and see how things go let's see it's identifying okay cool it's identified and the new map is busy writing so Waking ECU, if it's ever gonna wake, and there it goes. Programming, new map is loaded. Alrighty, guys, so that was a basic video where I showed you guys how to do timing on a PD engine. I wouldn't advise doing the timing if you don't have the right equipment. Speaking about right equipment, I'm referring to software. You either need a VCDS or whether it's a Bosch uh, fault or code scanner or like any like logging tool. Yeah, you'll need the right equipment to check the timing. If you're going to, going to adjust it using your, your hand and just an estimate, you're never going to get to the accurate zero degrees or whatever you're looking for. That was a basic update on, on Pamela as well. I hope to, to get into things this coming weekend. And next week, Tuesday, I'll be back with another Technical Tuesday video. As I said in the beginning, guys, my goal is to reach that 100 subscribers. If you guys could support me and possibly share the video and help me, I'd appreciate it super much. Thanks guys for watching another video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.